Hi, my name is Benfica and I'm an actress based out of California and today I wanted to do an updated tour of what I'm using for my self tape auditions because it's always changing a little bit so I wanted to show you what I'm still using, what I have been using for many years and then the items that I just started using and uh, yeah let me show you what I'm using for my self tapes right now. As you can probably tell I am in my bedroom so I do my self tapes in my bedroom and right now is the only time of day where I actually have decent light that I don't need to use my ring light but that ring light is the newer 18 inch ring light and I've been using it for many many years I got it for Christmas 2017 so that's the one I'm still using it. it's around a hundred dollars depending on Amazon prices I don't know if you've noticed but Amazon prices change all of the time and then I have this savage paper backdrop it is a gray backdrop this one is 53 inches but I recently also got this 80 six inch backdrop and this one I'm primarily using it for self tapes that are for uh, commercial auditions and when I use that big backdrop I also use this little newer light to just give it a little bit more dimension so let me just show you really quick on the gray backdrop um, what it looks like so you know when you're in front of it it just looks like ooh fancy a little bit more dimension but for this one because i have to have the camera so close um to you know not so i don't see the side i can't use that light just because i end up just pushing it against the wall but these two are the main ones that i use for my self tape auditions 53 inch is about $35, 86 inch is about $54, and then of course I have these stands. These are very flimsy, it's still the same ones that I've been using for years, around $35 on Amazon, but since I don't have pets, kids, anything that really will um, knock it over, that works for me. And then I am still using this mic. I usually use it if I know there's noise somewhere else. Um, right now I'm not using it, I'm just using my microphone on my camera, on my phone. And then I have still this phone mount, still tripod, same one I've been using for a long time. The the mic is around $60. This mount is $20. And then this tripod is about $80. Um, still been using that. So the only thing that has changed recently is this little light that I use behind my backdrops. But other than that, this is everything I use. Um, if, you know, I was on vacation or something and I absolutely needed to be able to travel light, I would just take my tripod and you know choose a wall a white wall like this and audition like this but um for now this is still my self tape backdrop um setup and i do use most of this to film youtube videos um right now i am using a gimbal on just like filmic pro and that's another thing i'm using right now filmic pro to actually film the auditions speaking of filmic pro let me adjust the light a little bit because it got a little bit weird the sun is moving around, but um, yeah, this is my setup. Everything is linked in the description as always. Let me know if you have a question about, you know, specifically each item. There's nothing I'm, I'm unhappy with. This, of course, I store it vertically because or else it's gonna get curvy if you store it like this, but um, pretty easy to set up. Everything is easy to set up. The ring, everything is pretty durable, except for I don't know if that's durable yet because the that little cube light I just got. I used to always get the Lumic Cube uh, uh, commercials on YouTube. Those are a little pricier, so you know I added this to my wish list for my birthday, and I was lucky enough to get it. So this little light here is around thirty five dollars, and it does not come with the battery, so you have to buy that, and that's another eighteen dollars. And then that tripod that it's on. I've had for a little while. Um, it came with some umbrella lights that I had a long time ago that were like $20, very, very affordable. I have everything linked in every single one of my videos. If I ever add something that I'm using to filming auditions or YouTube videos, I always put it in the description and they are affiliate links. So if you do click on it, I get a little portion and I do appreciate it. Some of them might not be affiliate links. I'm just sharing, you know, an easy way for you to find that. But thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on 
my next video, make sure you're subscribed. Like this video and leave me a comment. Thank mm -hmm. you.